Yo, what's the crap, boys? I saw on Bill Simmons' YouTube channel, you know, one more time NBA teams. Pretty much talking about, you know, this is really the last season until we make some big movements or just restart the whole franchise. I thought it was quite interesting. I've got my say on this. Let's get First and obvious one, I'm, I'm, I'm completely aboard the ship of one more time. The Clippers, you last season, I don't care if you make the conference finals and Kawhi gets injured or Paul George, you blow it up. It's... It's really finals or bust every year now for the Clippers until they blow up. Kawhi, Paul George. No, they are trying to move Paul George. So they do like they're in that direction. But in my opinion, this was honestly one of the most promising trades of all time. I remember when this went down. It was absolutely insane. Like now, like now four or five years later, it's well, four years later, it's a complete mess. Obviously, if Kawhi didn't get hurt, that's that's kind of the moral of the story. If Kawhi didn't get hurt or Paul George. They have also got a great coach in Ty Lue, so you know, or you know, role player wise, depth wise, they're perfect, they're set. It's just they're two star players in their health. Obviously, when they play, unreal. Kawhi, when he came back, started properly playing, unreal. Arguably, arguably best player in the NBA, which he wasn't given because he's always hurt. Clippers are just, Clippers are just a cursed franchise. So just by that, you should probably blow it up. I don't think anyone really wants to trade Kawhi. There's not really any team that can trade for Kawhi, unless you know the Clippers low ball. Trade him to Sacramento for some a bag of chips. You know how it is. But first team, uh, not exactly one more time. I'd say two more times, depending on the context. Is the Pelicans with with Zion? Pelicans one seed before Zion got hurt. Arguably the deepest team in the league. Let's say it's a similar situation to this year, where you know they start off hot. Zion just does not play for the whole season. I would just trade him. See see what his trade value is. And if you're not satisfied, run it back one more year. One more year, that's it, and see what happens. And then, obviously, maybe you're in a situation like we've waited this long, we may as well just try until he's healthy. But also, a lot of teams might not want to do that. Obviously, a context you know, Zion fills up arenas if he plays, but obviously, if he's not playing, it's a bit different. You know, the Zion market might not be hot, especially if it's like okay, the Pelicans will train him because he's not healthy, so maybe they'll be stuck with him. But a lot of worse players to be stuck with than Zion, you'll take that. But Pelicans really, you know need to you know figure something out what to do with him obviously there's that on-court stuff he does look a lot leaner but just like zion lean videos and like ben sims off-season workout videos is a bit anticlimactic when it's once the season comes but pelicans really got this year and next year i'd say before well after you know next season once it comes around if zion's hurt again for you know a long time it's got the talks the talks are going to be out they're somewhat about last season but next, this season coming up, if Zion gets hurt and he's out for a lot of time, you're going to hear it everywhere. This Pelicans must trade Zion. Trade Zion. Restart the franchise. Blah, blah, blah. But now, the Warriors are an interesting one. Chris Paul is under contract for two years. I think Chris Paul will elevate that team. He does it every team he goes to. He makes them better. Obviously, he is somewhat cursed himself and is a playoff choker. But when you're, you know, the best organization in the modern day, you know, post-2014, the best organization in basketball. That shouldn't really matter. You know, Draymond, Draymond's going to be back. I have no doubt in my mind Draymond will be back. So you got a good core, all mature, experienced. Jordan Poole's off the team, so, you know, now there's that. I think a big part, you know, a huge part why the Warriors weren't as good as they were this, you know, last season because that whole Draymond and Jordan Poole incident, 100%. I think Chris Paul can definitely help this team, but they're all getting old. You've got young players who, you know, you've just traded away a 24-year-old future all-star future 25 point game scorer average 24 when he's starting obviously you should capitalize on Steph Curry's window Steph Curry's obviously still in his prime arguably one of the best players in the NBA Jesus and then you got Jonathan Kaminga Moses Moody you have traded Patrick Baldwin Jonathan Kaminga and Moses Moody the fact you got him in one draft is such a win Obviously, if you can still fight for championship, you do it. But I said not one more time. But they got two more seasons before. It's like okay, let's see how this ends. Depending on how this season goes, they might not even make the plan. Is we've seen it before. We've seen it before. But you, you think not? Steph's gonna be more off ball. Chris Paul's gonna be controlling the offense more. I do expect big things from them. But this di this this dynasty's got about a season or two left, which is a shame. But I definitely think they can win another champ. My opinion: the Raptors should just blow it up. They think they're not inferior to the teams like the Miami Heat who did just make the finals. Also, they have won a championship with you know somewhat of a similar core. You still do have good players like Siakam, OG, 
You've just signed Grady Dick, who's got number one. Oh, my God. Obviously, Scotty Barnes. You've got, you know, Gary Chan. You've got a good core. You've got a good core there. If you just make the Blazers one call, Siakman, OG, you give us Scoot Henderson back. You arguably have one of the best shooters in the league with Scotty and Scoot, plus whoever else you draft. That's kind of why I think you should blow up before your time's too late because, you know, you play this season, keep the core together. Maybe it's like, fuck it. We're, we're in the playoff spot, you know, top six seed. Let's, let's ride it out. Off season comes, there's not a lot of, you know, movement, availability. You could have got better players the season before. So I think they should just take their chance now and blow it up. But the team is still good enough. Obviously, you've lost Nick Nurse. That's an L. Kind of probably should blow it up. They, they should. But it sounds like they're going to go for one more time. So one more time it is. But in my opinion, they should just blow up. And I think eventually they will. And obviously, the Blazers, who are just like the Raptors, should just blow up. I don't need to explain why. Dame just needs to go. But obviously, other teams I fought. Were teams like the... Well, it was only the Bulls. The Bulls should just blow up. Lonzo... Oh, bro. That, break, that breaks my heart. Lonzo's not going to be back next season. Trade Damar. He's getting older. Trade him while he can. Trade Zach Levine while he's still in his prime. Patrick Williams is a good start. Get whatever you can for him. Maybe trade Zach Levine to New York. I'm not sure what you could get. Maybe a pick. Maybe get RJ Barrett. I don't know how you feel about that. It's something. Damar, I'm not, you know, see what trademark is like for Damar, but you must blow up now, to be honest. But fuck it, run it, run it back one more time. Damar and Zach Levine's a good deal, plus Vucevic. L trade, L trade, Vucevic. L Vucevic and L trade, I don't know why you do that. Also, yeah, at the time, you need to gain some relevancy. Maybe Damar doesn't come if Vucevic isn't there. So it is what it is, but those are my teams who I think got one more.